my YouTube. This is another video. <sighs> Alright. This is my overall EDC. Um, it really don't change a whole lot. Uh, once in a while I have to get a new piece of gear because something will break down. As um, far as that goes, everything kind of stays the same. There's not a lot of different things that come in and out of my ADC. Now, once in a while, you know, I'll get a new knife or something like that, and I'll switch it out. Um, and I've got multiple of some of these items, and some of these items, you know, I do change out very quite frequently. Uh, but this is just kind of an all set of what I carry on a daily basis. Some things I cannot take uh, to different places and I have to kind of, you know, mess around and just keep it minimized. Uh, for the most part though, um, you'll see that a lot of this stuff is um, budget friendly. Uh, it's it's uh, not very expensive. Um, some things have more price than others, but, you know, it just is what it is. Um, which a lot of, some things that I make, too, and I kind of, like, kind of, like, make them and refurbish them and all. Kind of make them a little bit better than what they could be. But, with that do, as you can tell, we have gotten, let's see if I can get the stand I did the stand thing, by the way, y'all. Alrighty. To this side, and we'll just work our way over. Alright, I keep a... Now, this is my latest and greatest knife. This is a Smith & Wesson. I don't know the whole detail of it. I think it's uh, D2 steel with, uh... Uh, like, uh... Stonewashed, uh underlaid uh, scales with G2 uh, uh, scale on this side, down on this side, as you can tell. I love this knife. My wife got it for me for Christmas. Uh, it doesn't come very sharp out of the box. It's I like it because it's not a um, uh, totally out spring assisted. Uh, I've got it pretty sharp now. It's not too sharp. I like it. Um, it's kind of cheap. I think it's running you seventeen dollars on most websites that I see. Um, this is one knife though that I don't really carry, but I love it. I love case. I love their 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 stuff. This is my grandpa's knife. Uh, he passed on. I keep it. Uh, that's one reason I don't. I, you can keep this thing sharper than a, anything in the world. I mean, it's amazing steel. Uh, you know, I don't really carry it too much. But once in a while, like a, if we're going like to a family get-together or something, I'll carry it and, you know, the whole nine yards. Everybody says, well, it's, you know, Grandpa's, yeah, and, you know, I'm glad to see it's still in rotation, you know. Uh, this is one my wife got me, I think, two years ago. Uh, it's an m -Tech. This is a totally assisted knife. Um, I like it. It's good. Uh, it said titanium handles. I don't think it's really titanium. I think it's more of uh, aluminum. Uh, I like it. It stays sharp. It's cheap steel. It's pretty good. Uh, I like it because it's uh, it's a it's a good beat around all knife. Uh, it's fairly large. It's you get a good edge on it. It'll last you for a long time. All right. Um, going up. This is the coast light. All right. This is a 650, 650 lumen light. It is a uh, good uh, uh, 
it's got the it's got the binocular head on it, you know. That whole thing. I like it. It's a big lot though. Uh I know a lot of people says, Well that's just, you know, huge for an EDC light. It is. Um I remember one though I work on equipment and you sometimes it's really good to have something a lot bigger. So you you drop it, you don't have to sit there and fumble around with it to go find it. That's one reason I like them. Uh, and you'll you'll notice a trend. I do like flashlights. Um, with my work badge, I'm not gonna show you my work badge, but I've got a uh, carabiner. This is the 48 inch uh, carabiner. And you can see. That's who makes it. It's got the locking mechanism. I don't use locking mechanism. We have to sign into forklifts and stuff, and it, I have to keep it. I keep the this is the two version. It's rechargeable. Yeah. Let's see, it, I think. Yeah, this is micro USB chargeable. This is the second version of this. That ain't work. I hate not having a tripod. Uh, I'll set y'all down in the stand though. Yeah, I think it's like five lumens. Then it's like a uh, hundred and fifty lumens or something like that. I like it. It's good for like emergencies and stuff when like you know, just different things. I do notice this thing will come on though. I don't feel really like that. Um, by the way, and the next thing is a pin on it. You've got the uh, side on it. It's just a little pin, and it goes into a full-size pin, but I usually just use it like that. It usually works. I'm fine. It's paperwork, it's paperwork and all that work. So you've got to really keep it. You know, I need a pin on me at all times. Um, usually I keep two pins and you'll see the other pin here, man. It's just a, just my phone case. Uh, I cannot keep this on me, by the way. This is one of the M items that I just can't keep on, which also a knife. I can't keep a knife on me. Uh, they, don't, they don't allow it. But that's all right. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the dirt, but the uh, I use this thing like crazy because I'm always like to break phones. All right, now, with that said about the flash, flashlight, though, this is me, my hoster for it. Uh, I keep it in there. I keep it on my side. Um, a lot of people are like, well, why do you keep it on your side like it? Well, it frees up space in my pockets for other gear, and it also is a hands-free device. It's starting to get a little wore out. I'm going to have to replace it, but... I've kind of got a little bit invested in the whole thing. By the way, this is not eyes, and also the pins are not eyes. You'll see a little bit of a trend with that. All right, um, going down again. Just trying to keep this in the sections. I keep a can opener. I keep uh, the P fifty eight. Yeah, I think it was P fifty eight. In on the keys. Uh, I got, I got a Ford F-150. Uh, I keep the Leatherman scissors. And you'll... I'll go back down to this one. So I'll open it up. Soon I keep scissors on me. These are good for kiddos and opening things for the wife and everything when you don't want the big knife out you know um i can't you know i guess you're really supposed to even have this in my work but you know still yet yeah, it's like one of them things that you just keep your keys and nobody really fusses about it um with that being said I, I i mean i respect my laws and stuff at my work uh i just keep this on there because you know kids get hungry when you go to the store and stuff and they want toys opened up at any time. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them things. 
And sometimes you just don't want to have to pull out your big knife. And scissors sometimes work better. Uh, with that though, I also keep a... What is this one? This is the Olight um, uh, 3E 3E OS. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It's like 95 lumens. I love this thing. As you can see, it really gets the wire. I like it because it's a double A. I mean, it's a triple A too. So it's very easy to keep our batteries. And also, my Coast Light is all three triple A. So, that really helps out when you're buying batteries. Alright. The next thing is my, whoops, is my uh, broker pin. That's a bolt action. It's for the 45 caliber. I love this thing. Uh, it's got the pocket clip on it. Um, that's, you know, it's all one solid milled piece. Uh, I put a little bit of JB Weld on this the little bolt so it does not come out and it's not come out so far. Um, and I also keep a little Teflon tape on the end so it does not come out and I have to have a pin on it like I said. With that though, um, this is one thing I'm, I keep it on me a lot of times but sometimes like if I'm like gonna be around a lot of people and stuff that just don't like the whole you know carrying a lot of gear and stuff and they're like scared of it i keep a rat tourniquet on me now i do not um carry um of right now i want to uh but uh I keep this on my back underneath my belt. With that being said, it's very not noticeable and it's not easy, easy deployment. But it's easy enough that if I have to have it, I could have it. Because we have so many wild and people that don't know what the heck they're talking about anymore and, and not doing what they need to be doing. Uh, I think there should be a lot of different um things done in this country that uh should be you know i think we should be able to carry wherever we want to and whenever we want to and wherever we want to and we shouldn't have to worry about it uh with the hat haha <laughs> you can see don't tread on me second amendment uh i love this hat this is my design by the way um the hat come from walmart I bought a molly patch for the top. Um, this is a, by the way, this is pretty cheap. Molly patch is like 15 bucks, like 12, 15 bucks. The hat was nine dollars. And you're about to see that it's, it's got some weight to it. It's just a little bit weighty, but you're like, you'll see. You got the second amendment. And what is that? Oh, glad you asked. It has got a another other another flashlight on it. It's like three hundred some lumens too, buddy. And I redesigned this. This was an old coat uh, coast uh, headlamp, and I like the headlamp. It just was not as practical, and I never used it. I was like, "Well, I'm gonna put that thing on my hat." So I reconfigured all the little circuits and all, and put it all in there. And put a uh, some uh, Velcro right there, and it runs through there, and that's the battery pack. And everybody says, "Well, ain't that uncomfortable?" Not really. Um, it's kind of like you know, half and half. And this also runs off of three AAA batteries, so it's all kind of intertwined. Um, and this is uh, all in a resin of. Uh, like uh, industrial glue stuff. I've just kind of resonated it in there and it's it all works out fine. I don't have no worry about water or anything really with it. Alright. With that, I love that hat. 
by the way, if you can't tell. Um, it did not come red. I put the red around there. I did have the little dots here where that blue, but, you know, it comes off. <laughs> um, all right. I try to keep a whistle on me at all times. This is the Fox. Where is that? Fox Classic. Uh, 115 decibels. Um, this thing is amazing. Uh, loud. For what it is. It's like $4 at Walmart. Then I keep a handcuff key on it too. Now this is. I'm not promoting. Um, if you're lawfully tamed by a cop don't try to get away from them. I'm not saying that I'm saying this is in case of somebody like what's the handcuff you that's what I'm saying is for uh, I love my I love law enforcement that's what they're there for and you ain't gonna have all good ones but you ain't gonna have all bad ones I've got some friends that's law enforcement really good people um I like it it's a good little whistle. It's a, by the way, it's a breakaway too. So it's easier to get off. Um, I like it, but it's, uh, it's just kind of one of them things. Um, all right. Now everybody's like, well, what's your wallet? And I know, huge wallet here, people. This is a huge wallet. This is the uh, Spec Ops. The wallet, not the wallet junior, by the way. This is the wallet, and none other than a don't tread on me uh, copper coin that I have uh, sewed on there. I had to drill holes at a 45 degree angle and sew it on there. But this thing is my go to wallet. You can literally put everything in there, and there's a whole entire survival kit in there. It's got fishing hooks, it's got. Uh, tinder in it it's got your whole nine yards in this thing i could live almost a, probably a day or two at least out of this thing for just getting myself home <laughs> that's what it feels like at least but it's got a lot of things in there it's got a signal mirror it's got the it's got the small can opener in it um i always keep a rations of food in my backpack that i keep in my truck um with all my other gear uh, this is a pretty good, this is a huge wallet though, and this is also meant for belt carry, you can put it right through there and put it on your belt, and you can also hang it as a, uh, uh, neck, around your neck, uh, that's where I keep my license, which of course you ain't going to see them, um, I ain't going to show you all the inside either. Everybody knows kind of what spec up, so what it looks like. I might do a review on this. I've had this thing for about Mm, but about a year now. Um, as you can tell, it's not really tarnishing or nothing. The, the It's just amazing quality. Um, I wear this thing like every day. Uh, some pants, though, you got to watch out for. They will not fit in there as well. It does stick out quite a bit, but most of the time I wear Wrangler jeans from Walmart. I don't have a lot of problem with it, but it, it, it is very uh, tight sometimes if you get some of the more not flexible jeans, which that's all right. Okay. With that being said, um, but yeah, Spec Ops. It's amazing. It's good quality, tactical. Uh, as you can tell, most of this is tactical. There's not a lot of uh, not tactical here. Um, my future plans are to get something a little bit smaller, a little bit brighter, with the flashlight, um, then, uh, I like my little rat tourniquet, uh, I have no training really in it, besides what I know and I've seen, um, but as far as that goes, uh, I work a lot outside now, and sometimes you just gotta have something like that because I have almost split my leg open before with the axe, and that's one reason I decided to start carrying one. They're quite handy, and they're very uh, you can get you can get hurt pretty easy, and sometimes you just can't call nine one one. What that's you know 
that's just how it is sometimes. Um, would I trust myself, put on myself? Yes. Would I trust it, put on anybody else? No. So with that being said, that's that's why I carry that. Um, and I just carry it because you don't ever know about these crazy people anymore. But now, with that though, I think I've showed it all. Now, like I said, I've got many more knives than this. I've got much more flashlights than this. I've got uh, different, you know, key things and voila, voila, stuff like that. I keep this um, on there. It's really good. That's not a molly patch, by the way. Uh, more on the V. I like it. Um, the broker pen. I like it. So, you know. But that's my kind of my EDC right here. It's, um, it's a lot. But now, uh, you know, that's just how it is sometimes. Um, and by the way, I keep the click belt on me. Um, I have another video. It's a really good belt. It's very strong. It's meant you can actually repel with it if you have to. Um, I suggest getting one. They're very good quality. And they're running all kinds of specials and stuff all the time. Um, next thing I carry too that I ain't got up here is a trauma kit on my leg. I have a holster that I made. Uh, a 1000 corridor nylon. I made it. I've got it completely packed up with life-saving implements and stuff that I can do. A lot of it's, it's, I've got it to where it's almost such a complete trauma kit. There's a couple more things I wouldn't mind to put in it. But then again, I don't carry it all the time because it's one of the things that you just don't want to carry where I work as much as it, you know, just different things. Uh, but it, it is what it is. Um, I think it's pretty much with my EDC. Um, there's not a whole lot more. I've got a couple of different hats and stuff like that. But that's about it. But this is my. This is pretty much my EDC right here. Um, well. Uh, if you have any questions about it. And if you want to see anything more in depth. Um, I will. Um. I will uh, do a uh, separate review on anything that if you see. And by the way, one thing, these right here are amazing. This, the last one lasted me like over six years. So, buy one of them. I just recently bought that. Um, I don't like the clip as much, but uh, it will pop back in. It will pop out too. Um, that's one thing I don't like about it, but it's never done it with me sitting up and all. Um, usually I might lay them down or something and like uh, rest them after work or something that'll pop off but that ain't no biggie uh, but yep yeah, that's my EDC for you if you have any comments so leave them in the comments thank you bye